Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to make a uh, cut shape uh, one piece uh, mug. I have here about uh, one kilo of uh, mixed color uh, clay. It will be more visible after the first burning. So now we start with the body and then we will add the handle which, be, which will be the tail and also the ears on the top. Okay, let's start. Our first step will be centering the clay, opening and lifting it up. Now Nir is closing the form to create the lid. Once it's completely closed on the top, it's necessary to make a small hole so the air can go out. Now he is trimming the bottom part. Next important step, using the chopstick Nir is dividing the body from the lid. It's ready now, we have to leave it for a few days to dry. After a few days it's time to attach the handle. Nir is milking a piece of clay until he gets a pretty thin one. In the time when the handle is drying, he's trimming our mug. Now Nir is cutting out the lid and working on the edges. Trimming the bottom is also important, as well as the signature and the stamp. Our handle is ready, so he's scoring the surface in the spots where it's gonna be attached. After the scoring, he's putting there some wet clay that will act as glue. Nir is attaching the handle carefully and forming it into a cat's tail shape. He's working on the lid, which will be the cat's head, first, scoring the surface, putting some wet clay and then attaching previously prepared ears. Bit of blending and voila, it's ready, we'll leave it until it dries completely. The mug dried, so I can paint it. I already prepared lines using a pencil, now I'm gonna fill it up with underglaze. Usually I put 2-3 coats, so it's not gonna look too patchy. The kitty is ready for the first firing. After the first filing, we'll glaze it. Nir is applying wax on edges and the bottom, so it will not catch the glaze. After that, he is dipping the mug and the lid in a bucket of translucent glaze. The last step is the second firing. This is how the final effect after the second firing looks like. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section down below. I really like it. Thanks to the lid, my tea will not get too cold quickly. If you are into pottery videos, in the description box down below you will find links to our previous ones. For example, making a hand carved mug, marble effect vase, one piece coffee jar or a makeup brushes holder. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. I upload every Friday and Sunday. You can also visit me on my social media, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.